in my DaVinci Resolve basic view. <clears throat> again. Let's do it again. Another one. In my DaVinci Resolve Basics video, I went over a lot of topics fairly quickly to spend a little more time on the individual parts and show off some cool stuff you can do with DaVinci Resolve. I'm starting a new series called Weekly Wednesdays. This Weekly Wednesdays topic is Adjustment Clips. What are Adjustment Clips? Explained on a basic level, this clip allows you to change aspects of the underlying clip or clips without changing the original footage. They also allow you to change things about multiple clips that are stacked in a single environment without having to learn a lot about Fusion. Before we dive in, hi, my name is Richard. I make how-tos and videos alike to help you make better content for your channel. If this video is helpful and you learned a thing or two, click the subscribe button below and tap that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video goes live. Let me know in the comment section what topic you want to learn about next. That's it. Grab some coffee and open DaVinci Resolve. In the edit tab, to make sure we see the same, open the following tabs on the top left and top right. Media Pool effects library and the inspector tab. With some footage loaded on your timeline, open the toolbox, click effects and drag an adjustment clip above your footage. You won't see a whole lot of change because we haven't done anything to this clip yet. Select it and let's make some cinematic bars. There's two ways to do that. Number one, scroll down in the inspector tab and activate the cropping window. If the window is not open, just double click the name and it will open. Add a crop to the top and bottom and you got yourself some black bars. You can adjust them however you like. For a cinematic look it's about 0.75. Number 2. Select the adjustment clip, go to timeline on the top menu and select the ratio that looks best for you. 2.39 is the cinematic look everyone uses. You want some quick zooms for your vlog to keep your viewers attention? easily done. Select the adjustment clip and add a zoom value that looks good to you. Adjust the length to however you want it and you got yourself a quick zoom. Quick tip round. 1. You can duplicate clips by holding alt and dragging the clip to where you need it to be. Super useful if you want to do multiple quick zooms without having to recreate it every time. 2. You can add keyframes to almost every setting in the inspector tab, enabling you to make full-blown transitions with just an adjustment clip. Take that, Fusion. You can even smoothen the keyframes out to an extent by pressing the keyframes editor in the adjustment clip. 3. Add effects from the Open Effects library and adjust them in the Open Effects tab in the inspector for some really sophisticated effects. 4. Most important of all, you can easily save adjustment clips in a power bin, enabling you to reuse them in all future projects without having to create them every time you start something new. I'll go over how to set up power bins in next week's Weekly Wednesday. Here's a quick example of an edit with just some adjustment clips, retime controlled footage, some music and sound effects. By no means professional, but for some quick and easy effects, it's not that bad. Those were just some examples. You can do a lot more with adjustment clips, so play around, get a feel for it, start making your own effects. Simple transitions, zooms, etc. Good luck out there, and if you made something cool, tag me on Twitter or Instagram so I can see it. Would love to see some really cool stuff. As usual, please like and subscribe. We're almost at 100 subscribers, that's basically my end goal of 2020, for my YouTube channel at least, so that'd be really cool. Also leave a comment with how you use adjustment clips and I'll see you next week. Later!